everyone. Um, we have this um, very pretty looking flower to colour today. Um, the leaves are really tiny um, and the centre has little tiny circles as well. So it might be a little bit of a challenge, but I'm sure we can uh, have some fun with it. Now I just sort of decided that I quite like to do this flower in an orange colour. I'm not sure why I thought that, but that's what I'm, I'm going to go with. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to start actually with a terracotta colour and uh, do the um, do this bit of the petals. But I did promise we would do some leaves and um, flowers in a slightly different way. So we will do this one in a slightly different way. So we've got our terracotta going all the way around the centre like that. I'm going to put a little bit on the end of each petal as well. It's not massively different, but it's just a different idea that you might like to try. I used to do petals more like this, actually, and sort of change how I do them. Okay, so that is the terracotta, and then we're going to swap to, I'm thinking, hmm, yeah, I think we'll go straight to the orange lake. If the blend doesn't work <clears throat> too brilliantly, we can always um, sort something out in a bit. But I'm going to go over the top of the terracotta and that will help it blend better and bring it towards the middle. I want to leave some space. Now some people colour and then would leave that white to uh, make it look like the petal is shining. You could do that. But I'm going to go a little bit further and do it slightly differently. So you will see in a bit. So just going across each one, nice and simple. So what I am going to do is get a lighter colour. Um, we have got, let me just have a quick look at this. Mm, these are a little bit pink, but I think they'll do. This is called um, Flesh. It's a sort of light pinky colour, really. And I'm going to use that in the gap. I'm just going to overlap. I might leave a bit of white there, but actually it's so pale. Probably don't need to. Now that is only our first layer of colour. But hopefully you can see the effect that I was going for. That <clears throat> It looks like the flower is dipped in in the centre and the petals curl so this bit is higher up than the edge but once we put another layer on it should help even more so we're back to our terracotta colour and working around the centre here like this And it's quite fun reworking an area. You don't really have to think too much. There's already a little bit of colour down. And it uh, helps. I do find it's quite a useful opportunity to think about what you're going to do on other parts of the picture. This is Orange Lake. So while I'm colouring this, I shall have a think. I know what I'm doing in the centre vaguely. I think I'm okay there. Uh, leaves. Hmm. Got a few ideas. I think I'm there. Really. I want this to be quite vibrant, so... I am happy to put down quite a lot of the orange. I'm not going to go back over that pale bit. I'm going 
Mm. Actually, looking in the camera, I think I do need to. It's a little bit too over the top, I'm thinking. If I go down over it a bit, I think it will look a bit more natural. Yeah, I'm happier with that. It's up to you how, how you do that. Okay, the centre. I'm going to go with browns, but I want to try and make it um, darker on the edge of the centre. So I'm using, sorry, a burnt umber just all around the very edge. I want it to be quite a hard, harsh layer. And then fade. Right, then we switch to a lighter brown. So we will go to the a Van Dyke brown. Oops. Van Dyke brown. And bring this colour in. Like that. And then I want a really light centre if I can, or compared to the other browns. So I'm going to grab the cinnamon, which is usually hidden among my oranges. Just put a little bit in the centre there. Just blend it in. There we go. There's my centre. And then we have our little leaves. Now these are teeny tiny, so I'm not going to be able to. Sorry, my hand moving across. Um, I'm not going to be able to do more than one colour in that little teeny space. So I think I'm just going to use this um, Terra Verde for all the leaves and just do them all with the one colour. And I'm probably going to end up missing bits and going out the lines. If I wasn't filming I would have my face a lot closer, but you know, it's okay. Take it in my stride. Now I do want to do a little finishing touch on this one, on the centre of the flower. I think it'd be nice to have a few dots on the um, on the each seed to make them look like they're shiny. So I'm going to grab. And spot it here we go my jelly roll 05 so it's the one with the really small tip and I'm just going to try and put a little dot in the center of each one of these just trying to make sure I am doing it there we go yeah and that helps again to sort of redefine those circles um, that the centre is made up of. So there we go. Another quite short one today. Um, <clears throat> that works out well for me. It means I'll be able to get quite a few done um, ready for the children being on holiday. But I hope it's okay for you as well, having some a little bit shorter. Some of these will be longer and some will be shorter. It will depend on the actual item and you know how long it takes to do each one what sort of detail i go into and how many colors i use and how hard it is to explain everything else but anyway that's me for today so thank you for watching um do have a lovely day um tomorrow we will have another leaf and i will think of a different way to uh, do a leaf and you will also have a bee in the morning from the planner so that should be fun for you i hope so have a lovely day and happy colouring.